What's up out there, everyone? Welcome back. It's Saturday. Um, and it's another live stream. Blues rock guitar. Made easy. How fun is that? Oh, there we are. It's working. Hey, what's up? This guy. What's up, everyone? Oh, they're going by fast. JDJ, Bensi, MTB Max, Lex Tura, uh, Brian Garcia, Elbow Gaming, Eduardo, Gabriel, Light the Celestial. Thanks for all the nice comments, everyone. I'm going to show you a, a concept right now. Also let you know over at martymusic.com, my essential blues and rock bundle. It's half off, ends tomorrow at midnight. So you can go to martymusic.com and look at that essential blues and rock bundle. Um, any of your support, it's always appreciated. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, but yeah, martymusic.com. Check that out. That's... That's where I that's where I get the extra help from y'all. So thank you. Um, and then also because it was just one of those things that I haven't really done a course on yet. So I've got this intermediate foundation course that I'm finishing up. Um, of course, all the PDFs and tabs take a little longer, but I'm I'm wrapping it up and I'm going to show you a concept from that right now. Uh and it just has to do, I made a little short also. Oh, and also thanks so much for all the love on the, uh, ah, darn it, the signature guitar. Oh, man, I just hit that stand. That sucked. Anyway, thank you for the love on the signature guitar. Um, and then also thank you for all the love and support on and comments and everything on the Susan Tedeschi Trucks interview that came out yesterday. If you haven't watched that, I appreciate you going over and, and checking that out as well okay so check this out um this is really cool in a blue setting <clears throat> because you can 
play over the changes, but if you get lost or confused, you can just always go back to the minor pentatonic scale. We'll do it in the key of C. I'm going to tune here. I was bending. Oh, and then also I hit the stand. So I have a C7 chord here, which is the 8th fret of the E string. And then I have the 4 chord, which is an F7 chord. I'll play it with the root right next door, 8th fret A string. And then the 5 chord is that up a whole step, so 10th fret A string. Now there's an arpeggio for each of those. So check it out. Eight, seven, ten, eight, ten, nine on the G, eight on the B, eleven on that B, eight is the root on the high E, and then twelve on the high E. And then for the four chord, in that same position, it's now the eighth fret A string, eight, seven, ten, eight, ten on the G, and then right over to ten on the B. I am in focus. I'm on my computer, I'm in focus, and I have my glasses on. Um, and then eight, but eleven on the high E, so that's an F seven arpeggio. And then the C7 again. I'm looking at your comments, but also trying not to be distracted by them. Okay, so then the G7 is just what I did for the F7 up a whole step. And it's okay if you don't know every fret that I'm talking about. So it's really two shapes, but when you add the little hammer on, on what's called the third, so I'd be hammering or sliding up to the E note, so that'd be six to seven here, and then sliding or hammering, I'm going to hammer eight to nine on the G, and then slide from 11 to 12. But whether you're going ascending or descending, you hammer up to the major third. So when I use the C extended scale, yeah, it's definitely in focus, y'all. You might have a, a buffering on your buffering on your actual computer. Okay, so if I take that but do that hammer-on trick, I'm getting that arpeggio and now like a blues line. So for C7, I can go like this. Or I can do it from this run. And then for the four chord. All off that same one. And then the five chord's the same thing, but up a whole step.
thank you. Time out, you. <laughs> Uh, I don't have any coffee with me. That's all right. I had, I had my, I had my fill of coffee, so I didn't have more. But so here's here's that idea. And what's cool about that is anytime you're lost about what chord you're playing over, you can just go right back to the C minor pentatonic C blues because that works in that blues setting. So I'm going to make a jam track because having a looper and good rhythm to inspire you to play lead they help each other out and makes you a better guitar player. So let's see. Uh... So this is just like going to be a C7 kind of vibey groove. So anytime you get lost, that was just a C7, really. There, there wasn't, when I turned the looper off, I went to an F7. So yeah, when it's on the F7 chord, I was do, doing that hammer on major third for F. So that would be G sharp to A. Check this out though, just C, C blue scale. Always go back to it. Ring finger on the root on the A string. You have this amazing run just with your index finger and ring finger, that's it. The root's on the third fret A string, but on the E string you play one and three, or one, two, three, as a like chromatic passing. And then one, three on the A string, and then one, three on the D string. Just with that blues note on the fourth fret, so you can go up. Then 
Now you're in that A root minor pentatonic, so you can do um, three to five on the G string. And this can, you can review this, so you don't have to memorize this right now. You can watch this back later. And then four and six, slid or blues, and then six, eight. And that's just the minor pentatonic blues scale. And then you have the, the E root version of that, which I always fall back on because I'm adding my other notes around it. So even though I can look at it like this, when it's specifically a dominant seven chord where I wanna outline that major third in there, I can still see that same box, but go, oh, sorry, right here. But forget all the fancy stuff, just the two pentatonic runs you always wanna practice and always know or the E root one. And the A root one. And they connect to each other. Different different keys have their different uh, specialty, but you also have the 15th fret A string, which was the same, everything I was doing right here. An octave up right there, so you don't have to learn anything new. Anything I do in this little run is that starts over again right here.
You'll never go wrong with just going right back to that pentatonic, though, no matter what, because I'm using those things. Anyway, uh, Ronald is saying, great playing and teaching. Looking forward to the Susan Tedeschi interview. So that's up. The Susan Tedeschi Trucks interview is up here. Um it's up on the channel, Marty Music here. And as I was just jamming there, I was thinking about the fact that I was in a studio sitting next to Susan Tedeschi playing guitar with her and just thinking about how like she does that basically every night with like the greatest or one of the greatest guitar players alive, you know, who's also her husband. Um, that was... Uh, you know, I, I'm co I, I'm confident uh, in what I can do, so it was fine. But, you know, every once in a while, I had to, like, s sweep those thoughts out of my brain as I was jammed. Like, oh, you're doing a solo right now. Like, oh, crap, you know. <laughs> um, but she was so cool. I had I had met them both before that interview. And that interview was shot, uh, like, a month ago, a month and a half ago. So that wasn't, like... That was just the other day. That was at least four to six weeks ago that I did that interview. Um, her and Derek were in town for this um, benefit or tribute concert to John Prine, I think, at the Ryman. And we, there's a biz, you know, music business connections that I have with them and it just worked out that she was promoting the 25 year anniversary of her debut album. And so it kind of worked out perfect because I've been carving out this little, you know, Fridays is when I tend to release like some kind of collaboration video at Marty music. If you haven't noticed like interviews and stuff like that. And, uh, Every once in a while, one of them does really well, but for the most part, they don't do as well as my straight up guitar lessons. But, you know, you got to keep doing stuff and trying stuff. And also, I got to do stuff that I want to do, too. And I know what you guys want. So it was also funny. My favorite comment, because Jake Edit says, bro, join a band. I got my own band. I play, you know, I play a few shows a year with my own band and my singer, Jamie Allensworth. Um, and then sit in and jam with different people and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> what was I saying though? I was talking about the, the Susan thing. Oh yeah. Since I've got you guys here, I've also, uh, got to hang out, jam and interview Kingfish. So that's not out yet. So that was another one that I'm really excited about. Also, I did one that's not out yet with my friend or my friends, uh, Great Bluegrass Band, Brothers Comatose. So that's another one that I did. And yeah, I'm going to just keep trying to do those. In the olden days, they were guitar tours. Now they're just more open-ended. Thank you, SD Hawks fan. Uh, so, that was a lot that I just covered, yeah. Any other questions while we're here? Um, the You can go to martymusic.com and check out that Essential Blues and Rock Bundle, which is half off until tomorrow, and that is um, got Beginner Blues, Blues Rock Rhythm, Beginner Slide Guitar, but don't tell Derek or Susan about that too embarrassing for me <laughs> but I at least show you what mere mortals can do like because that's all I I'm not very good at it but I um you know tried my best to to help you guys out with that and then yeah what else this is uh Jake saying what guitar have I got this is my um Marty Schwartz signature Epiphone ES-335. Uh, it's maple, flame maple top and body back. Um, locking tuners, split coil pickups. It's red like Back to the Future. 
Oh, the Daniel Donato is so awesome. I mean, of course, like all these guys, I would love to do videos with constantly. They're, I mean, you know, yeah. This this is the only Epiphone three thirty five currently that you can get that has that coil split. So here it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll answer some of your questions. Yeah, I mean, the live events are cool. I'm, I'm going to be doing more. Uh, I'm doing, uh, I'll say now, December 6th. December 6th at the Gibson Garage in Nashville, Tennessee. I'll be doing my next event. That's not that far away, is it? That's about a month away. Um, let's see. What was the other question? How did I learn so many to cover so many songs? Uh, I don't keep them all memorized in my brain at once. And the more songs you learn, the more you start to hear like the similarities in songs. And so you kind of start to mentally remember like, oh, like I've heard that chord run in that other song. So the more songs you learn, you start to learn little things that repeat over and over and you just start to recognize them. But you know, the more I've done it, the better I've gotten at it, but I don't have them all memorized in my head. But it probably, I mean, it makes sense, but I can watch my own intro of me from, a, you know, 10 years ago or even 14 years ago, but I can watch an old intro of me and kind of find that muscle memory still in my brain if I watch myself play the intro. So a lot of times I can do that. Um, let's see. Favorite guitar. Well, I have an old Martin acoustic from the 70s that was my dad's, and he gave it to me. So that one's like the most sentimental. It's pretty epic to have your own signature guitar, I got to say, and I've really been enjoying playing it. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, Lincoln said, just learn green on onions for the jam tomorrow. Thanks. The, th the really cool thing about green onions is for guitar is just learning the
Best method of learning for someone starting out? Should I try and nail down a few riffs or just practice chord changes? Thanks. Your goals are really important. But what I would say if you're like straight up beginner, you want to definitely learn some recognizable one string stuff like... You know, just a bunch of stuff on one string to get you going. Then I recommend E minor and A sus2 next, because it's the same shape. Scoot it over, get your right hand strumming going. And then from there, there's two different things. E minor to, to the, like this fake G without the extra finger like this. And then you want to learn a D chord. And then from there, you start putting those together, like. Then get the. E power chord and the A power chord. Like Dario strings, Kevin. Jake says, "What's your favorite song to play?" I don't know. It, it's just like anything; it changes. You have different things that you feel like doing sometimes, and it changes. Although I do like when I play with like my own show, I always play going down. Always do that. <laughs> Let's see, so there is a PS5 there. And then OG Wii, yeah. But this is like a bonus room and I have a son here that it plays the Nintendos. Tens on this guitar, yeah. All right, some shout-outs. Greg Levinson, always thank you for coming. Jowls 2023, Mark Savage. I don't know. Just look on Reverb.com. Josh Norco, always appreciate it. Jonathan Hazlett. Uh, Kevin Hemsley, tens, yes. Greg Levinson, always. Deadman327. Uh, Jake Edits, best song you can play, Master of Puppets. Thanks, Mark Savage. Yeah, Mylogify or Mylogify. Uh, Jake Edits, always. Yes, thank you. Tillin McPooch, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, cover Blues Fundamentals. We can direct uh, Blues Fundamentals. Beginner Blues, my new course at martymusic.com or my course, Essential Blues, Essential Rock and Blues Bundle is half off through tomorrow at martymusic.com. Com. SD Hawks fan, sure thing. 
Uh, Michael Dussel, I like the Boss RC1. It's very affordable. You can buy a little extension pedal, which is what I do for it. And it's very affordable. Kathy G, thanks again. DA Williams, thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, let me turn that off. Um, Ronald Dulac, thank you. Toby Buckley, uh, any opinions on the Digitech Trio? Nope. Mark Savage, Freebird, MGD Pro. The only part of Freebird you get for free without anything in return is this. Toby, thank you. Peace and love. Art the Clown. I've never played or learned Eruption. The whole Van Halen, Shred, Virtuoso thing. I was more like Allman Brothers, B.B. King. Grateful Dead, Sign the Family Stone, James Brown. Mark B. You gotta like really want it to play that. And I didn't like come up working on that style I, I love it though i'm not good at it dive bombs tapping i just never practiced it really <clears throat> jowls all of course navy sweatpants i could and i can but will i no i'm using an irig i'm i've got a, a universal audio volt um, this mic is going into that and then this mic is miking the amplifier and then that output that actually just the headphone out is going to an iRig that's then going into my, my personal iPhone right there filming. Hum, Humbilt 707. This is a Gorin Brothers. Rock on. Sid Berry says, what's the pedal that you use the most? I use the, the Schwarzenegger overdrive pedal the most. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see you again next Saturday. Thank you again.